Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Battles of Legend Armageddon Yu-Gi-Oh booster box opening. Finally got my booster box uh, today and decided to open it up for you all. I already opened up a couple of blister packs on my channel, but I finally want to see just how the ratios fare for an actual booster box of the latest Battles of Legend set. A really, really awesome set with a ton of good reprints and some pretty awesome new support for a bunch of uh, decks, including Appliancers and Glacial Beasts. Picked this up today. Also managed to pick up two of the the newest Lost Art promos, we have Harpy Queen and Harpy Conductor. They both look really awesome if they're going to give us more and more Harpy support with the Lost Arts on them. Can't wait to see which ones we'll get. I know I think we're guaranteed uh, Harpy Chandler as one of them upcoming, but can't wait to see all the different cards we'll get. But enough talk, let's go ahead and jump right into the booster box. we got 24 packs to open. I just want to see if I can pull anything new from the packs I haven't opened up yet and hopefully I can open this box as well without any trouble as I have a lot of trouble opening it all right see I don't want to damage any of the packs either but this is proving to be the part of the channel there we go after 15 seconds of box opening this just shows that they don't want me getting to the contents of the box and that the wrapper is winning but after five minutes of struggling with that we can finally get to the actual opening of the box and that just shows to always have something nearby to open up these uh, packs but with that little delay in opening it reminds me always to put the secret rare behind because it's the first card in the pack and already we're getting a card that i haven't pulled yet and that is steam synchron a really really awesome ultra rare reprint i think it was common in the Synchron structure deck. Uh, some of them that I've already pulled, I'll just go ahead and glance over them to make it a much faster opening. Uh, number four, but unless it's like a really noticeable uh, ultra rare, I'll mention it as well. And uh, right off the bat, we pull a pretty good secret rare, and that is Numeron Calling. This card makes the Numeron Gate, uh, you know, play style. Having your field spell set up on the field, then just activating this. If you control no monsters, a special summon up to four Numeron Gate Xyz with different names from your extra deck. So with Master Rule 5 being a thing, this just makes this card that much more playable. A quite scary card for sure, and glad that I have one so far. This is the card I want to pull part of the cover card of the set. Let's see if I'm lucky enough to do so as well. A lot of good ultra reprints as well. This is, I think, my first Numeron wall also. And we've got a Fossil Warrior Skull King for our uh, next secret rare. Already pulled one of these from the blister packs, but still very cool. And just a bunch of other good ultras, like I said already. And if you look at the cover, I really do love how they're portraying the art for, um, was it Armageddon? And also the other jump promo cards. Just, he was a prize card though, he wasn't a jump promo. We have a number three, Cicada King, which I learned is the fake number, basically a Baryon number, while the Numeron Gates are the real numbers. Goyo Defender, Book of Moon, and oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Third pack in. This is turning out to be, so far, pretty good box. We had some pretty awesome pulls from the first three, and look at that. We've got the cover cart right after talking about it. Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. That is sweet. Such a good card for Pendulum Setup, too awesome very very nice and that's the pool you want to see that looks beautiful in the secret rare foiling you can't beat that unless you pull a second one or you know 10,000 dragon or utopia but i think i might have already used up all my luck three packs in but i'm going to continue going let's see how we do we have an appliancer reuse so i do need a few more appliancer cards we have a dark spell regeneration i'm pulling a bunch of secrets i haven't pulled yet so that's a good way to start off the video when you're trying to show a bunch of other cards to people that want to see just what's in this set and pulling the uh, big cover card is how to do it that's for sure all right we have an appliancer electro lyrical world stars of Zeroboros and another glacial beast polar penguin awesome and let's see what we got next. There's number three. Another penguin torpedo. Not from this box. I pulled it in my blisters. And we've got another one of the cover cards. Judgment, the Dragon of Heaven. So this one I actually have been using uh, quite a lot in Duel Links. We actually got this card as a usable card in the Light Sworn deck. So really cool to actually see it. I know it was a jump promo, but you know I had, didn't get any jump promos recently. So just to have that card available now makes it all the better. 
let's see. There's Laundry Dragon. There's Kappa Scale, which I think these two came in the same pack the last time I opened them up too. Raw's Disciple. Does that mean Kawaki Mara Drago? Nope. Broke that trend from that. But there's a Dryer Drake, so all the Appliancer links. And we have Fossil Dragon, Skullgeos, or Skullgeos, I believe, for that secret. The fact that they made all the Fossil Dragon secret rare makes for a beautiful deck, but um, you know, I'm not complaining that the Appliancers are all Ultra. Makes for an easier deck to build. But would have liked to have at least seen one monster be uh, secret rare. There's another Numeron Gate. There's Sunlight Wolf, uh, Kalantosa, and High Rate Draw for our next trap. Yeah, a bunch of secrets I haven't pulled yet. I think at least six secrets that I haven't seen pulled from this set in this box alone. So very nice. See how the next pack, there's an Obedient School, there is Copy Buckle, Utopia the Lightning, Afterglow, and we've got our first Mega Fleet, which is a good card for sure. Uh, not as broke, I would say, when uh, Link Format first started, just because of the extra monster zone being the first way to get out extra deck monsters. But if you're going up against a Link deck, for sure, it's useful. Let's see, next pack here. There's number three, uh, Seltopus. Fire Flint Lady, and we've got Miracle Rupture for the Fossil Fusion search. If I can get one more Fossil Fusion, that'll be my playset for those also. We got two more packs left on this side. Am I counting right? Yep, gone through 10 packs already. So let's see how we do with this box. Box pack. I know, of course, I'm opening a box. Uh, cross Sheep, nice. And we've got Glacial Beast, Iceberg, Narwhal, the Synchro Monster for the Glacial Beasts. I can't remember. I opened one uh, blister pack off camera. I can't recall if Narwhal was the one I opened off camera or if I actually filmed that. And if people remember seeing Narwhal in my blister pack opening, remind me because I myself don't remember. Here's time stream for the Fossil Fusion support as well. And we're on to the right side of the box now. So we're making good time. I so we showed a good amount of these ultra rares already. I just wanted to quickly go through them to see everything else. There is socket rolls. I just need one more socket roll. If we can pull one more from these packs, I'll be happy because I'll have my play set. There's my third Sunlight Wolf Ultra. Oh, there's the first secret rare, Medulce Angeli. As secret rare, that is beautiful. It was originally ultra rare. It didn't have any other reprint, I believe, but secret rare does it justice. You can see all the background and just the card itself would look great in a Medulce deck. So, awesome. And as always, if you're seeing the art on the actual pack covers, it's pretty uh, nice looking as well, doing all the different packs. I do like the style that they did for that. Another Numeron wall and another Skull King. So it's our second of this one. There is a pretty good one. I believe people have told me it is short print just to pull it. So I don't remember its name though, but I'll recognize it if I see it. There's another Numeron gate. Book of Moon, and a Danger Jackalope. So uh, Angeli, Jackalope, all good reprints for this set. And nothing's really been holding too, too much value, but I think that's partially to blame just for the fact that there are two very expensive cards in the set, being the Starlight Rare, Utopia, and the 10,000 Dragon. That makes it just, you know, so highly sought after that it affects all the other prices in this set. We have a Specimen Inspection for the Fossil deck as well. That's my guess of it, at least, but usually after time, the Battles of Legend cards always spike, so holding on to a good number of them for later on, I always say is a good investment. Uh, if you look at all of them, they always have some of those specific cards that rise in price, for sure. And I think this is my first Elemental Hero Escuridao, but I don't have one, so to add on to the Hero decks would be a big boost for sure. Awesome. Seven, I already lose count, but I think we have seven packs remaining, so let's see. I've already pulled pretty well. I pulled the one uh, non-Starlight Rare expensive card, so glad about that. Let's see how we do with these packs. We have Weathering Soldier, so here's another uh, main deck monster card for the uh, Fossil uh, Warriors. Awesome Fossil Kings, there we go. And a couple packs remain. I don't know. I think I used up all of my big luck, but let's find out. I'm going to keep on going. I won't give up till the very end of my pools. Let's see. Penguin Torpedo, number two, and Glacial Beast, Blizzard Wolf. So, yeah, I can feel my strength weakening in the luck of the packs, but I won't give up. 
I still believe I can pull something amazing from these last couple packs. There's, a, okay, Laundry Dragon is pretty amazing, and so is Appliance or Test. Uh, powered Crawler. So I think this is generic. I almost thought it was for the Crawler deck, but that card has a C in its name, not a K. So it's not an actual Crawler. I'm sure some people will trick others to believe that, but it doesn't have anything to do with the flip effect anyway. Oh, there we go. My last Appliance or Socket Rolls. I got my play set of that for counting the blister packs as well, which I'll have at the end of the video if anyone hasn't seen it. This is my first super all-in too, I believe. I knew uh, Cardians had two cards in the set, but this is the first time I'm seeing this card. Uh, Celtipus. There's a Beasto Lion. Very nice pull also. And another Mega Fleet. So yeah, we're already getting doubles for a lot of cards, and the, the ratios are just all over the place with these sets. They throw cards all around. I'm not sure what to do with their values. All right, let's see what we do with this pack. There's Gazelle. I'm pretty sure I've already pulled some of those. And we have an F0 Utopic Future Slash. Awesome. Uh, slash, that's how you say it. And then we've got two packs remaining. We're gonna save the Trishula pack for last and go with the Dark Arms Dragon pack. Let's see how we do. And I haven't remember, I haven't forgotten to put cards behind this entire video. And when I say that, I'm going to forget with the last one. Is this it? I think this is it. Fossil Warrior Skullbone. Nice. So we did pull it second to last. This box did not give up on me with that. Sweet. Is this? I do believe this is it. Unless I, I'm level six one. I got I Maybe I'm wrong. There's so many Fossil Warrior uh, ones, and maybe it's the level six one that I'm thinking of. But. I'll figure it out at the end of the video. Or one of you can remind me while watching this. But the final pack, let's see how my luck fares. We've got Lion Emperor, Psychic Wave, Ra's Disciple, Kawaki Mirror Drago, nope, Cherry Blossoms, and we end with a Numeron Network. Awesome, so we pulled both of the Numeron cards along with the main card of the box being Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. So sadly, no 10,000 Dragon, no Utopia, but that luck is immense if you pull one of those. So maybe if I open more packs, uh, maybe I'll get lucky, we'll see. But this was still a sweet pull, and pulling both of the Numeron cards made for an especially good box for sure. But that is it for the box opening. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.